Hey guys, what's up? I am going over DCAP BTLS right now. So DCAP BTLS is a acronym that we use when we're assessing and doing a full head to toe assessment on a patient that was in a trauma situation, all right? So we're looking for all these things. DCAP BTLS stands for deformities, contusions, abrasions, punctures, burns, tenderness, lacerations, and swelling. So I'm going to go over every single one of these, but before I even get into that, uh, so DCAP ETLS is what you're looking for when you're checking your patient from head to toe, all right? So when you're checking the head, you're checking for DCAP ETLS. You're checking the neck, you're checking for DCAP ETLS. You're checking the thoracic cavity, abdominal area, you're checking for DCAP ETLS, extremities. I just want to get the point across here. Like you're gonna go down and check every single section, um, and hopefully your instructors can do a better job of explaining this on an actual mannequin or person. Um, and I'll, I'll make a video down the road actually doing it. So you're going down section by section by section by section, telling your proctor that you're checking for decap ETLS, and you're gonna verbalize what the, what that means. All right. So. And I already kind of have a few drawings up here, but deformities means just that. So, for example, if you're pal if you're palpating, so palpating means that you're touching something. Sorry, I think I have some sriracha sauce on my hands from earlier. Not a big deal. Um, and it's it's the head, and you have a bump. So, like a bump, you feel a lump. That's considered a deformity. If you have an angulation where it doesn't belong, like in the forearm, like mid forearm, that's also considered. A deformity so a contusion is just a fancy word for a bruise if you see any bruising that's a contusion all right an abrasion think of a rug burn uh, an abrasion occurs whenever you shave off the top layer of, of skin that's an abrasion all right think of a rug burn or when you fall off a motorcycle and you slid on, on the concrete that that causes an abrasion puncture um, this we're talking about uh, getting stabbed, so I'll draw a cool little knife right here. So that's a knife. Getting getting stabbed in the chest by a cholo or something like that. All right, that's a chest right there, and this is gonna be awesome drawings. Don't hate, they're awesome. You know they are. Um, that's a head right there. In case you don't know, that's a knife. So a puncture. All right. It could also be a, a, a oh, I'm not even showing that <laughs> a bullet. All right. So if a bullet went through the body that's a bullet going really really fast right there all right a puncture all right anything going through anything that went through anything that's still sticking out of your patient that's a puncture a burn is just that a burn so i'll draw some flames right here that's a burn so anything that burned you uh you have first degree second degree and third degree type burns sec uh, first degree is a when uh a sunburn that's when they someone gets really red but nothing really happens. That's a first degree. Second degree, we have blistering. And then in a third degree burn, um, you have that black or white charry type of look where the nerves are burnt on your patient. So tenderness, just go ahead and think pain. If you're palpating your patient, you know, you're going through doing your assessment, filling out your patient, looking for any, any decap ETLS, and they kind of pull away or they say, ow, oh, it hurts, or any kind of moan, that's tenderness. All right, laceration is a fancy word for a cut. So any kind of cut, that's supposed to be a cut right there. That's laceration. That's what that means. A laceration is a fancy word for a cut. So all right here, cut. Swelling is just what that is. It just occurs uh, from trauma, histamine building up, just a reaction. So swelling is just that. I think we already know inflammation. Something gets really big, uh, and that's it. So as you're going through your head your head to toe assessment from your patient in every single section remember decap btls and hopefully this helps peace